Hey cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. I am at the Desert Botanical Garden for the 2023 fall plant sale. And I just got here. I have my microphone hooked up and plugged in this time. It is Saturday today. It is the third day of the fall plant sale. I think it started on Thursday, which I wish I could have come, but I had to work. I think in the future I might have to take a day off. So I am going to go and make a beeline to the collector cactus area. We're going to start over there. Oh my goodness. So this year they have pottery by Mark Meridian. I have never seen pottery here before. This is so cool. As you can tell on some pricing. So this is $140. Whoa, this is $55. Okay, I think I'm gonna go bankrupt just on the pottery alone. This huge one is $140. Whoa, $125. Oh my God, I'm in pottery heaven. Let's go walk inside, take a closer look. Holy moly. I don't know if you can tell the color on here. This is $95. Gosh, this would be so great for something that needs a, like has a really long tap root or just needs a deep pot. Let's see, this is $95. That's actually really reasonable. This is huge on my hand. This one is $250. Something like this is 50 bucks. $45 on this one. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. No, that's $40. $60. If they have like a scallop design, that's $65. $95. And this is 95 So I see a lot of like $45, $50 for these smaller ones, but these smaller ones are all like six inches or so, maybe five and a half. And like the really big ones is 185 but it's massive. Oh no, looks like I will be taking home pottery today. This one is 225, but it's huge. These are incredible. The artist is, uh, I'm not the artist. I Mark. Yeah. Oh awesome. my gosh. And they're really reasonable, like pricing wise. Yeah, so a lot of nice price points. Too. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I, sure. I thought I would go bankrupt today for plants, but I think I might um, end up going bankrupt on <laughs> For both, yeah. pots or both? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have one Mark pot that I bought from somebody else secondhand. I've never actually seen like his work yeah, awesome. like this. This is amazing. What a treat. We'll be back here in just a second. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, look at this. $60. So these, they have some little ones. I would say these are probably three to four inches and these are like $20, 25, 30. So they have, you know, price points that can fit multiple budgets, which is really nice to have a chance to, to own something by Mark. Are you Mark? Hi, Hi. it's nice to meet you. I'm Jenny. I have a YouTube channel, so I thought I'd come here and do oh, some okay. recording, but I think I have one of your pots I purchased from somebody else, and I've never had a chance to see it in all its glory. This is such a, such a treat. Thank you. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. Hello. So these are... Oh, this one's $50. It's $70. Whoa, look at this. 
This is $55. Look at that design. Wow. All these are made flat slabs. Mark himself is here manning the, the station. Oh my gosh. You guys, I think I'm going to have to take some pots home. This is $90. I still think, I mean, of course, $90 is, you know, a significant amount of money, but after, you know, going through a lot of this artisan pottery and kind of having a feel for price points, it's not that bad. This is 55 here. I mean, it's it's on par with things that we've seen from other makers. This is 140. Two twenty-five, ninety. Ooh. So beautiful. This is ninety. Oh, this is such a treat. So I budgeted two hours to be here. This is one hundred and sixty-five for something that big. I budgeted two hours to be here and do shopping videos, but because um, I actually have an appointment this afternoon, so I'm like hard constrained on time. I'm gonna have to take some of these. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna go. This is sixty dollars. I'm gonna go and film the the plants now. All right, we're gonna start here with the kind of the collector's area for cactus and make our way that way towards the succulents. Well, there's succulents mixed in here as well, but I did, my eyes were wandering as I was walking here and there's a lot of good stuff. So let's go ahead and start looking. I'll do my best to capture samplings of uh, IDs and prices, but obviously, I mean, I can't, there's no way I can ID and price everything here. That's impossible. So we'll do the best that we can. So we've got some lithops here, it's $12.50, just for an idea. This is $10, you get four. This is $10, what is it, Pleo, Pleo Spilos Nellii, Royal Flush. Sometimes I like to try to play the game of figuring out who the grower is because the this sale actually like the people who are supplying the plants are all over the place like different growers from within Arizona from outside of Arizona so it's all over the place sometimes they have some signature I don't know like potting styles and pots and soil and topsoil that you can tell who, who it comes from but sometimes it's hard to tell this is Andromischus $15 Let's see if we can tell where this comes from oh this is from Plants for the Southwest. They're on the label. Makes sense, because they're like the biggest lithop house in probably all of North America. Ooh, these are Cynthia. This is $25. I've never seen this in person before. What a strange plant. Whoa, look at that. This big pot of lithops is $45. I swear that's like the same price as it was last year. I don't have the best time with lithops, kind of 50-50. Some of them are fine and just sort of leave them alone and don't pay attention to them and then some of them die. These, are, these look really healthy. Look at how so attractive. Ooh, Neochelania Cachetayensis, $10. Wigginsia, Arenasia, ten dollars. Neoporteria Wigginettii, ten dollars. Royal. Those are all ten dollars. This for Leia. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. Ah, I bought one of these at the last show and sale. Ten dollars. I think it's still the same price as last time. Colta. Ten dollars. Some copia poa esmeraldana. Twelve dollars and fifty cents. That can't.
can't be right. Where are you? There's no way. This is $10. This is a genus that I'm not very familiar with. Parodia, $10. This is Parodia. This I cannot read. Menenhousiae. Some more Neoproteria. Ooh, Copiapora humilis. It's kind of a form I'm not familiar with. It's ten dollars. It's not bad at all. Ooh, Tenuisiba. Fifteen dollars. Oh, well, they're already old enough for flowering. So if you buy two of these and they both flower at the same time, you can pollinate, make your own seed. Neoproteria velosa, ten dollars. This is a species I've never heard of. I can't even, I can't pronounce that. We'll read it, $10. Oh, Ubelmania. Pectinifera, $20. Some Obergonia, these are 45 in a six inch pot. Ooh. Is Lai is Liensis, $12.50. I might have to take one of these home. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real life before. That was very attractive. I'm growing these from seed. I got a gift from one of my uh, Instagram friends and I'm growing them from seed. He just gifted me a bunch of seeds. I'm going to take this. So now one of my hands is taken up. These are all one Garcia Trulii, ten dollars in the back, and there's other stuff oops, mixed in here that I, I think these are Neopateria. Wow, so South American cactus, Della cactus, Mendalia, twelve fifty. Some Epithalantia gregii. These are also more rare to come by. Twenty dollars. This is Disco Cactus Aranisthenis, $12.50. Sadly, I bought one of these and it did great and then it didn't and it, it ended up rotting. So I'm not going to try Disco Cactus anymore. This is Frilea Uligiana. It's a two-headed one there. Those are $10. This is something I've never heard of. These are all from, like, you see this tag? They're from Arid Adaptions out in Tucson. Some Aerocarpus, the Tucis, these are $25. I'm gonna go put this down in my cart and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm gonna continue over here because there are other shoppers. I don't wanna get in their way. This is Mammillaria longata, $10. I'm seeing $25 on a bunch of these six inch pots with mammillaria in them. So some nice plumosa. Ocasana rose flora, $10. Ooh. These are all $10. $12.50. For mammillaria maui. Ooh, these are attractive. This is Mammillaria carmine. It's a cube of flora. It's ten dollars. I'm growing these from seed. Well, maybe not ruba flora. Mammillaria pectinifera, fifteen dollars. These are kind of hard to come by as well. Oh my gosh, Perez de la Rosa, twelve fifty. That's an amazing deal. I find these look a lot like Bombacina, but in a different way. Very, very beautiful. Oh, here's Bombacina. See? Can you tell the difference? Kind of. Very similar, though. Yes. 
Mammalaria bucarolensis, ten dollars. So you're gonna have to hear me just completely butcher names. Mammalaria bucheriana. This is a really, really pretty plant, and I am growing some of these from seed, ten dollars. Oh. Mammalaria quizzi pochlii, ten dollars. The rate that my seedlings are growing, it'll be like twenty years before they reach this size. These are really hard to find too. I'm surprised. Is this? See, this one looks different. It's labeled the same thing. They all look so different from each other. Really beautiful. So dic was it? Dicot dichotomatizing, more bombacina, lots of bombacina. Oops. So this is Mammalaria melaleuca nivosa here, ten dollars. Mammalaria patsia. There's a lot of plants I've never seen before, especially at like shopping nurseries. This is really fun. Some Lichtenbergia principis, $12.50. Canthocalaceum hovenii, $10. This must be Candida. Yep, $10. It's a great price. Ibusha, Noda Cactus. This is ten dollars. What is this? Mon Valley Spagazzini, thirty-five dollars. I've never heard of this. And it's really interesting. Golden Barrel, twenty-five dollars. This is probably some sort of noto cactus. It's not labeled. It's twenty-five dollars for the six-inch pot. Echinocereus pectinatus albiflorus, ten dollars. Really beautiful. It's kind of a hedgehog cactus. Noto cactus scopa. It's actually one of my favorite looks of a cactus a scope, but they're very common and not very sought after because they're so easy to find, but I think they're kind of underrated. Ferro cactus now, $20. Espastoa, 15 bucks. That Oreo Serious Trollii, $20. Old man cactus. This is like that fairy castle thing, $10. Sorry, we are backlit right now, so it might be kind of dark, but we're doing the best we can. Some ferro cactus macrodiscus is $12.50. Some more ferro cactus glaucosins, probably $25. Little ones are. Fifteen dollars. Let's see if I can tell who grows these. Grub Band Nadler. Don't know who that is. Those Vera Deskins six-inch pots are twenty-five dollars. What is this? Is it fellow cactus? No, feral cactus. Patsia var alamosanis. Ten dollars. Oh my gosh, we've got turban and carpus. Coral pylos, $25 for a six inch pot. Looks like they've got some steno cactus, $20 in the six inch pot. Gosh, look how gorgeous they are. Oh wow, look at how beautiful that is. I don't know why I'm not that into steno cactus. I have a few of them, but for some reason they just don't. I think they're awesome, but for some reason I just don't really gravitate towards them. Because, I mean, look at this. So, well, now maybe I am gravitating towards it. This is Stenocactus loidii, 10 bucks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gravitating towards them now. I love this with so much fuzz. 
Okay, I budgeted two hours to be here. I have to film and then come back and pick what I want. Turbini car Carpus just lid door fionis, 10 bucks. I like the genus variety. Wow. We are in the mellow cactus spot. These are $50. This is Azureus. It already has a cephalium developing on the top, which means that they can flower. You can see the little pink flowers there. This is also Azureus, $45. So these ones, you can see the cephalium hasn't started yet. This is Rubus Venus, $100. This is Azureus. $25, so they've got like different price points. This is $75 for Nerii, Conoidus, 90 bucks. It's in an eight inch pot. Violaceus is 25. Big guys back here, these are all 90. I have never seen this variety of mellow cactus at the plant sales here. That's the fun thing because you can just keep coming back. They have them every fall and every spring, so twice a year, and it's always different, which just makes you keep coming back. That's a small one. This is Guitaria, $25. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. Right, next they have a bunch of graphs. I see $35 on all the six inch pots. But the, what is it, the, the stacker? Some crested guys. I see $30 on five inch pots. Got these gymnocalisium grafts, or the moon cactus is fairly common. These are $10, very colorful. I had one years ago and I didn't understand what it was. But, um, my cat at that time knocked it off the windowsill and the scion fell off and I didn't, you know, I didn't even know what to do. I didn't understand what it was. It's a sorted cactus. Um, columnars are all $25 in a six inch pot. This is probably a parodia. Maybe Lennon has the eye, but I'm not sure. Got some Cori Panta. These are all $20 in the six inch pot. Very attractive. Oh, Cori Panta Elephant Titans, $12.50. Kinocerius, one's Larry Rarecii, $12.50. I have never heard of this before. This little tiny one, $10. Echinoceras veridiflorus vardivisii. I've heard of them. Some Pulaski Cachipe, which I've been using as grass dog, poor thing. Some more hedgehog, Echinoceras. More Echinoceras. These are all 10 bucks. Ooh, I've always wanted one of these. Nipolanius, $10. Kinocerius brandiesii. These are $25 in the six inch pot. A lot of the Kinocerius today. Morikalia, $10. This is like all the Kinocerius. Chimbachii, Albispinus, $10. This is the one that's probably quite well known, the rainbow, Arizona rainbow cactus, uh, hedgehog, sorry, rainbow hedgehog. See, they're twelve fifty. These are so popular at one time and they were quite expensive, but they're getting more affordable. Chimbachii minor, $10, cool. Oh, those are some of the short spine golden barrel. Those are in eight inch pots, they're $80. 
Pioneer Proteria, ten dollars for the other one. You know, serious, twenty bucks. Whoa. More Pino Serious, forty-five dollars for something that big. This is Reggie Eye, seventeen fifty. Look at that. Wow, they have a whole section of Pino Serious. These are twenty dollars. Everything in this desert wants to bite you. This uh, Steno oh wait, Echino Fossilo Cactus, Ocho Terrenus, aka Steno Cactus, aka probably something else that's out of date on ID. Whoa, look at this, Echinopsis Ferox, $10, look at those spines. Some Subdenudatum, Domino Cactus. So pretty. Look at how much they vary from each other. This is like white and fuzzy, and then a golden fuzz. Gymnocolisum horstii, twenty dollars for the six-inch pot. It's probably Gymnocolisum. Kino fossilia cactus, Phylacanthus. Some, some very unusual looking for. Interesting. Look at this smaller one. Look at this smaller one. $25. That's more like mellow cactus over here. It's not ID'd. There's some more Gymnocolisium. Chiquitonum. $10. Copiapoa. Pop Papasoensis. $12.50. They look kind of like humilis to me. Oh, Geno Cardense, Cardenceanum, $10. This is probably battery, $10. Wow, these are nice. Really nice. Horse DI. Wow, they've got some huge horse DIs in the back. Look how big that is in my hand. $25. A whole bunch of them. Flanzii Bar Marquee, $10. Flanzi Albapulpa. This is Ray Terry. Do you know? $10. I cannot read the ID on the ones in the back. Some more horse DI. Some Schroderianum. Bosia. $10. Armada. Armadum. $10. Some of these I've never heard of before. Look at this. Gimno Calisium Horse DI. It's huge. It's got a pup on it. $35. Got some Noto Cactus. Out of $10. Oh, I picked up one of these last year, I think at the spring sale. Benguenii or something like that, I never remember. It's doing really well. It made it through the summer with no problem. These are all $10. This is Noto Cactus Ubermanianus. Really funny looking Noto cactus. I swear we saw some of these at the show and sale. They look like donuts, like flat donuts. Karen Biensis, $10. Sorry, I know there's a lot of background sounds. Just can't, there's no way to avoid it because there's other shoppers. Well, it looks like we're in the Astrophytum area now. This is Asterius. This is all about arid adaptions. This is $20. Got some probably Mirio stigma here. Oh, there is stigma columnar, fifteen dollars. Oh, he's got some hybrid super kabuto V type, twenty five dollars. I don't have very many like super kabuto and mysterious. I have some, but just not many. I don't know what it is. They're beautiful and I love them, but I think I had some failures early on, and that just kind of turned me off towards them. This thing. 
Oh, these are some Capricorn. Twelve fifty for something that big. Not bad. This is some genus I've never heard of. Cetacanopsis? Weird. Very weird. This is probably Matucana back here. Madisonior. I already grabbed one of those. <laughs> Tephrocactus Alexandri, $15. And here's Geometricus, $45. These are extremely spineless. This must be fellow cactus, Lloydii, Varmager, $10. It's a pretty decent price. I just bought one of these from uh, Arizona Cactus Sales, so I will not be getting another one. Got some fellow cactus, bicolor. Bowekii, all ten dollars. But more bicolor. Oh, we're back to the aerial purpose. The tusis, which are twenty-five dollars. Very reasonable for something like this. If you're, you know, if you haven't gotten an aerial purpose and you've always wanted one, you know, starting with something of this size at twenty-five bucks is not a bad deal. All right, so we've kind of finished walking through. The cactus section, let's go into the next section. All right, let's go to the next section. Got some aloe, they have a lot of landscape plants too, so we'll walk through them. Well, they've got a lot of um, bonsai type of, uh, this is elephant bush, Portulacaria afra. Let's see how much these are. It's $100 for this. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not familiar with. This is 35 for this one, 60 for this one. I see a lot of like 35, 75s. What you can do with the elephant bush? It's amazing. These, I don't know if it's the same like subspecies or whatever, but those are, I think those are smaller versions of what's on that here. You can always Google $60 for this one, there's no ID. This is probably Bokia adulis, if I were to guess, I could be wrong, $60. Whoa, Incarnia peltata, $125. This one's in, uh, Incarnia rosaliana, $50, it's in flower. This is a lot of trees that I'm not familiar with. Oh, this is Moringa, $12.50. Ikea Adulis. Wow. Well, lots of euphorbia. Oh my gosh. Astrophora. $17.50? These are so hard to come by. They have like really, really short arms. I've always wanted one, so I guess uh, I guess $17.50 is going to come out of my pocket. This is Euphorbia Lac. This is Lacaea. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's variegated. 25 bucks. Probably Flanaganii. I can't see the prices from this side. Some Crested Euphorbia Flanaganii. These are 15. Some Mamillaris. 12.50. These are all Euphorbia species. Oh, Lena, Lena Wonia? This is all from Arid Adaptions, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Multi, what is it called? Multifolia, $30. I bought one of these. Was it at the last sale? I'm kind of losing track of time. Euphor Euphorbia public glands. I see some obesa on the other side. This is probably Sholandii, $35. Trigona, you've seen at the other nurseries. Oh, this is so attractive. Avos Montana. There's some on the ground, too. This is 90. Amalaris, white, $25. Whoa, look at that. It's huge.
Balkensis, ba oh, Balawensis Euphorbia, $15. Clavigera Rowan Walvii versus, oh, it's Tortorama too, all mixed together, $20. We'll probably see uh, Peter W's plants here. These are all $30. Like this kind of has that Peter vibe to it. $35. For Meliformis. These are all $30 for the six inch pots. This is Horita of our major Nova. Susanne. Javi. If we see Mini Medusa Hybrid, then we know it is Peter. And it is. Look at those short arms. I love that look. Got some Millie Oh no, yeah, Millie Eye. $40. Some Adenium. Swazicum, wow. These are probably, these are probably Peter plants. Seventy-five dollars. I think got one in flower. Swasicum. Some probably type of stemma jute. One hundred and twenty-five dollars. Some big trees. Caria pacifus. It's a lot of trees. Alright, we're just gonna kinda walk through this part. Sorry for those of you who really love um, you know kind of forms. We'll just walk through Jatropha, Poda Grica, $35. And then there's different sizes at $40, $40. Ficus, the ficus here. A whole bunch of different ficus. This is thirty dollars for branded jet GI. Many different. Uh, oh, look, they've got Dioscoria elephantipes. Forty dollars. Whoa, they have huge ones. I don't think I've ever seen something this big in person. This is from Botanic Wonders, of course. 450. Look at that. Let's see if I can get past the. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. But they have like different um, sizes for different price points. That these little ones are twenty dollars. Oh, Girardanthus macro. Is this, oh gosh, $90, but it's huge. Whoa, look at that. Amazing. This is Dioscoria hemi Hemicrypta, $20. Let me do a time check. It's been 50 minutes already. Cephalopentandra Isirhosa. $25. I actually have one of these, a little one, inside my house. Um, this is a Dorstenia. Utida, $10. Pseudobombax ellipticum, $15. This is all stuff that I don't know very well. Some euphorbia stuck in here. This is clandestina. $17.50. Euphorbia bupleurifolia. I have one that's still alive. There's different sizes. $40 for the 6 inch, $25 for the 4 inch. That looks like it's probably Francoisei, which I know is very popular. These are $20. Euphorbia Neo Humbertii, fifteen dollars. Never heard of it. Sissus, hundred dollars. 
sedum from Tuscans? I don't know that at all. So we got some Cyphostemma, $30 for this, $25 for this. Monodinium Kimber Leyana. This is really big. Look at that. $30. Monodinium, $40. You're going to be correcting me on all the genus corrections. Adenia Glauca. Oh, cool. I have no faith that I can keep any of these leafy things alive. I've lost so many of my leafy succulents. It's $30. I wish I could, but you know me. So all Adenium Socotranum. I have one of these. It looked like a dead stick the entire summer, and then about a month ago it started to wake up. And I thought it was dead. These are $80, but it's still alive. So there's Adenium species. It says detail on pot. Oh, I see. They've marked it on the, in this like chalk. These are all $75. Lots of Adenium selection. This is Swazicum. Wow. Look at that. Arabicum crossed with Crispum. There's all sorts of different um, crosses. And this is Obesum, $35. Pacopodium lamerii, $60 for three gallons. Pacopodium ramosum, $40. Gayi, $20. These little ones are $15. Zoporum bens, $20. Mm. These are a Breva Collie, $15. That's a really good price. These are really attractive, but I don't think I can keep it alive. It's just, uh, I don't have any faith. I think I've had two pack of podium and my, only my Densiform is still alive. I know that's one out of one, which is not too bad, but this I heard is pretty tough. This is Namaquanum, $37.50. My goodness, this is such a good price for Brevacoli. The back weight again. These are all $75. Go back to the Millii. Before the Millii, sorry, it's so dark. Okay, we're back to the Euphorbia, but from this side. These are all $30 for the 6 inch. I, I'm pretty sure these are all, yeah, these are all Peter's plants. Look how cool that is. His big old Medusa hybrid that I bought um, at the show and sale is still alive and doing well. Everything is 15 on one, maybe 10. Many Medusa hybrids. These are probably, I don't know. I can't see a price. I think it's just still the same price as it was at the show and sale. You know, those short arms, so attractive. I think I'm going to go get one of the Astrophora. So beautiful. Sorry, it's dark. Oh, I got some Obisa. Obisa is uh, $20. This is a girl. I have a camera that's on a fixed line, so I can't zoom in there unless I do it in post. And that depends on how much time I have. Oh, this is a girl. Let's see some, some more girls, girls, girl here. These are really pretty lines in the color. Some big bowls. $30 for the Flanagania, $125 for the Mini Medusa Hybrid. I'm going to take one of these Astrophora. Which one do I take? On to the next tent. I think we're going to be seeing some more agave and more succulents here. Oh my gosh, I think that's for sale. Okay, these are things I am not familiar with at all. These are bromeliads, $40. 
Cumia. Okay, we're in a land uh, that is not Cookie's Cacti land. Oh, kind of. This is probably Ponytail Palm. Abuca Spiralis. These are $25. He's got some Dickia. Platyphyla, $35. These look so healthy. The little one is a one gallon is 25. Oh no, y'all know my comments on soft leaf cut colorful succulents. These are so pretty. Some gasteria. Oh no, is this Haworthia? That looks like gasteria to me. This is Haworthia. Echeveria, really, really big ones. These are $35. I have one of these. I purchased the plant from somebody on Instagram and he gave me a gift and I rooted it and then now it grows exactly like this. It's a lot smaller than this, but... Oh, it's Caraluma. That one's Socotrana. This one is... Grandis. Oh, maybe I finally ID'd it. <laughs> Oh, these are the stinkies, um, or not, Hudia. $17.50 for Carrari. In Gordonia is $12.50. This is, oh, this is Dudleya. I know people love these, but these do well in Cal like Southern California, I think, $12.50. I will not. This is like a death sentence if I buy one. Oh, there's some more of those, the uh, Columa, Huernia. Yeah, those are stinkies, right? $17.50 for the two and a half inch pot, $12.50 for the three and a quarter inch pot. There's different species mixed in there though. Some Haworthia, $15. More Dudleya or Dudleya. Oh, this thing. I thought that the genus changed. Deuteraconia breva, brevifolia, $2.50 for the big old bowl. I have one of these that I bought from the, I think probably the fall sale a year ago. It's still alive. Very, very easy plant. Some Gasteria. So 15. Oh, didn't I just buy one of these at the Gasteria Sakura Fuji? Can I buy this at the Barrage? $12.50? I got a pretty good deal at Barrage. Got some snake plants. These are twenty dollars. That's pretty on par with like going to the local nurseries to the house plant section. This is probably sedum. Yep, fifteen dollars. Senecio, fifteen dollars. This looks like something that I would always that would definitely die in my care. Thirty-five dollars. Is it? Kalanchoe or Kalancho? <laughs> $20. Kalanchoe. Orgialis, one gallon, $15. We've got some Haworthia, $12.50 for that one. This is 15, it's in a five inch pot. Oh look, we've got some uh, variegated Gasteria. These are $15, These are pretty. The one I got at Barrage has like one yellow stripe. These are much more on the yellow side. So it's probably truncata of some sort. Yep, $25. More Haworthia. There's no way this is Haworthia. It's Gasteria. It's $12.50. These things, oh, Titanopsis. Hugo Schlechteri, $10. Colors are amazing. Oh, I've always wanted one of these, but oh man. So probably some hybrid, maybe it was Cooperi, Cooperii, $12.50, should I? Man, that's so pretty. It's gonna have to live in my kitchen. This cannot live outside. Maybe I'll get one. Whoa. This looks like one of those special uh, bread 
what is it? Cultivars, $15. Oh, the lighting's so bad. So pretty. Man, I've always wanted one of these. It's an Echeveria, $20 for the six inch pot. This is $15 for the gallon. $20 for this. Cotyledon, long fingers, $15. Look at that gray kind of, uh, what is it, like a powdery blue green. Oh, this is all stuff that, okay, we're just gonna look at them. Aeonium, Let's see, $15. Crashula, stuff I can't keep alive. Let's see on this side, what is this? It's the biggest gasteria I've ever seen. They can grow this big, holy moly. Stuff I can't keep alive. This looks like mangabe, moon glow, three gallons, $45. Bunch of mangabe. Oh, purple people eaters, this is $25, really pretty. It's so weird how they have those spots. This is a genus that I'm not familiar with. These are $25 for six inch. Oh, these are so, quite a selection of different genuses this year. Kaleidoscope, $45. Aztec King, it says. $25, six inch pot. Right, I've dropped off my loot in my cart, got my umbrella up, and now we're going to go take a look at the landscape stuff. There's one more tent over here that is, um, has a lot of aloe, lots and lots of aloe. This is a dicotoma. These are $90 for something of that size. There's a tent over here that looks like a lot of aloes. Because I haven't seen much agave so far. Man, these are gorgeous. So this is distance, $120. Let's see. Uh, Aranacea, $17.50. You know, these are pretty popular. I had a really bad time with uh, aloes this summer. When it got really hot in the at nighttime, they just like, as soon as they got any amount of water on them, they would rot. I lost a lot of them this year. This is Caris bergensis, 1250. I'm always extremely attracted to this particular species. It has some similarities to me to striata or the coral aloe but it doesn't have like that coral color and it has these stripes on it, but it has some type of form that is similar to that. It's actually pretty quiet at my time today. It's still pretty hot. I think the forecasted high is 99 today. This is $25. I'm actually wearing a backpack today instead of holding my bag just to make it a little bit easier. I think we're just gonna kind of walk through this. This is a, uh, Bright Star, $25. You know, when I first started getting into cactus and succulents, aloe and agave were one of my first, uh, like, addictions. And then it just kept changing. This is aloe castilion, castilioni, castilionis? I can't read it. I've got my sunglasses on because we're kind of half in the sun and half in the shade. These are really pretty. Super foliata, 1250 see, I've got some tree-like. Yeah, so I'm really hesitant on uh, aloes now. Uh, this is Marlothii, $60 for 10-inch pot. I think I might have to uh, avoid uh, aloe because when I, you know how my um, grow areas and my shaded areas are still on uh, like shelves? and the aloe tend to be at the bottom of the shelf. So when I water other stuff, it's almost impossible to avoid getting them wet. 
and in the summertime they just die. This is $120, come Tony I. So no aloes for me, at least for now, until my terrible memory makes it so I don't remember the nightmare. Is this Tomentosa? These are $25. Oh, Brevifolia. I love Brevifolia. I have a bowl of it that I've had for a long time. Oh, that's the Brevifolia that's variegated. Uh, I lost, I had a big clump that I lost, like the mother clump last summer, and then its babies all died this year. Super sad, I'm not trying that again. It's not fair. All right, let's go take a look at the landscape size plants. I've got my umbrella up because it's still really hot. I'm kind of worried that my ankles and legs are exposed to the sun. All right, we'll do what we can. Hmm, I don't see the discount tent this year. This is all landscape. Okay. Let's go look at landscape stuff. All right. We've got some agave. Usually they have a pretty good selection of agave. Like, what is this? Agave, palmeri, variegata. Gosh, so gorgeous. These are $40. That's a really good price. It's in a five gallon pot. What is this? This Mentiana Johok. We saw some of these, I think, at like um, Summer Winds. These are $20 for the gallon. This is Potatorum Cameron Blue. Wow. These are 55 if I'm reading correctly. Oh, here we go again. They're on the ground and it's so hard for me to bend over and look at all the ID, so we'll just I'll just read off some whatever I can see. 20 bucks for the gallon pot. This is prob oh this is green glow. $40 for this size pot. This is gentry eye. Oh, some of these have signs on them. They have like information and a little bit of care information. So then that helps me with the ID. It doesn't help me with the price. $40. This is Guadalajarana from Happy Valley Plants, which is in Arizona, 45 bucks. Agave Fran. Zocenia? Never heard of it. $40 for the big one. $20 for the gallon. This is probably Ferdinand. King Ferdinand. Or Nicol Nicolzier. This Mentiana. Just, just the regular kind. Can't see a price. Thirty-five dollars. Wow, that's that's not bad at all. Agave little penguins. I've never heard of it. Fifty dollars. Oh, my audio is okay. Paul Mary. Twenty-five dollars. Wow. Look at that variegation. It's like the leaf is almost completely yellow. That is so beautiful. This is this Mentiana again, uh, however you, however you pronounce it. Wow, it's so pretty. It's got more really pretty ones. This regular this Mentiana. I've seen some really pretty things on the other side too. This is Joe Hoke. Ranges from $45 to $50. Colorado. Dianina? Never heard of it. Little one is $20 in the gallon pot. Kantawa, $20 pot. Karwinski eye. It's probably all $20 in the gallon pot. Red margin. Oh, this is blue glow. I can't tell the price. Some big boys here. Durangensis. Durangensis, 
Blue Emperor, $40. Super pretty. Surprised my camera's not overheating yet. We'll see. More Blue Glow. Blue Flame. Oh man. Our uh, classic Americana, Variegata. So $45 for a five gallon. This is Appalanta. $35. This is probably standard Americana, nice and blue. Takes the sun really great out here in Arizona. 35 bucks. Let's look over on this side. All right, my umbrella is going to get in the way. I'll do the best I can. Sebastiana, $45. That one. This Salmi, Salmiana. There was something I was really interested in uh, over here, kind of wanting to just go over there. Shaoyai. Ooh, this is pretty. Shedigera Royal Flush. $40 for the gallon. That looks fancy. This must be Potatorum. And it is. The huge one is $225. This is Perii. These do great in Arizona. They are native to some parts of Arizona. This is Perii Truncata, which I have also found to do really well in my landscape. They take the sun pretty darn well. This is $45 for the three gallon. Huge one here, jeez. More Perii Truncata, highly recommended if you're in Arizona, the Phoenix area. Oh, look at these. This is what I saw. Potitorum Kicho Con Variegata. Let's see how much these are. Okay, so it's 55 for the 10 inch pot. So gorgeous. I bought one of these from uh, Arizona Cactus Sales. I think probably, mm, forgot when. Sometime within the last year. It's doing really well. I'm always attracted to them. Ever like every time I see them, I'm attracted to them. Highly recommended. This is little shark. I am sweating. Okahui. This is Obatifolia, the whale's tongue. I think these are really cool too. It's Fifty dollars. Parasana. I see fifty dollars. This must be Utahensis. Oh no no no, this is Macrocantha. I see forty dollars for the five gallon plant. Thirty five for this probably two gallon. All right, let's go look at the landscape cactus and to see anything along the way, because they have some euphorbia. Moroccan Mound, 25 bucks for the gallon. All right, let's get going. Got some elephant food over there. Some more agave. This is Zylana cantha swordfish, $45. Webberry, big guys. Vivipara. Some Mateo, never heard of it. It's quadricolor. $40. This is uh, Victoria Regine. Looks like this one is actually the kind that is variegated. Um, do you see this? I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of a, like a lime green stripe. Very pretty. It's forty dollars for the bigger pot. And here's more of a standard Victoria Regine. Twenty-five dollars. This is Titanota Lion's Mane. Forty dollars. I've seen a lot of these at Home Depot lately. Here, Victoria Regine. Twenty-five dollars. And then the 
variegated one. Same price. More Victoria Regine. Blue Glow. Oh, sorry. This is a Titan Note of Black and Blue. I find these extremely attractive. These are $40. These look like they came from Altman, because I've seen these at um, Home Depot. Not many, like I'll see one or two at one Home Depot, which of course I bought one. A little quadricolor. Ooh, they've got Utahensis here. The one I bought last spring is still going strong, 40 bucks. This is the same price as it was last spring. Oh, some people would be going nuts for these. Awesome. This is Titanota, $40. Wow, that's really cool. All right, let's go look at some cactus now. I feel like it's really emptying out. I bet most people came in the morning when it's a lot cooler. I'm not a morning person. I just cannot get myself to get up, even for cactus. Looks like uh, it's, it's labeled Echinopsis, but probably used to be, a, what is it called? Tre like, I know these as Triglycerius. Looks like we've got some Artillo Cactus Geometrizons. This form, $30 for a five gallon. All right, we're gonna just kind of walk through. These are $30 for five gallons Echinopsis. Sorry, my umbrella shadow is getting in the way. Oh, they've got a crested one or a monstrose that's written. It's $45. This is Sunita. $30. Uh, Echinopsis, $35. Got some Pachycerius, what is it? Pachycerius pringlii or the cardone, the giant cardone. $35. This should be our saguaro. $35 for a five gallon. How long do you think it's gonna take before my little babies get to this size? 15 years maybe? Man, which, so after 15 years, I can sell it for $35. And then by that time, 35 probably already became 70. This is probably organ pipe cactus. This is Tershuki, $35. Lots of columnar. This is serious. Oh, that's even worse. All right, we've got some totem pole cactus. $35 for a five gallon, that's a great price. Got some, maybe hedgehogs? Oh, it's, oh my gosh, I think my ankles are burning. Pharaoh cactus. $35 for five gallon, those are gorgeous. These are huge, $75. Wow, look at those spines. Golden barrel. Let's go here. Mammalaria gymnospina, $40 for the two gallon. These are all $40 for two gallons. And once again, I don't know if you can see the white X on them. I wonder if these come from Shady Way, just like at the other nurseries that we've been to. It's always like, I'm just amazed at how these nurseries operate. Like how long does it take for them to, you know, grow a plant to this size and then sell it for 40 bucks? Margins has, have got to be low, like compared to the amount of time it takes to grow the plant. Mammalaria, Pharaoh cactus. The two gallons are all $40. That's so cool. I think I look ridiculous right now. I've got my umbrella and I'm trying to maneuver it and point a camera. Everyone else is shopping and I'm like talking to myself. Lennon Hausii, Nota cactus, it's really big. This is Parodia, whoa, $40. Look how big it is. A whole bunch of them. Tephrocactus articulatus. These are $35 for the five gallon. Look at that. It looks like a bush. This is 
Rusonia, something I don't know. $35. Holy moly. Parodia Magnifica. This is the balloon cactus. This is like somebody's specimen. What do you think? It's huge. Ferro cactus potsii. $40. Acantho Coliseum Vio Vio something $30. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. What is this? This might be. Yeah, it is. Echino Cactus Engines is how I know it, but it says Platycanthus. Platia Canthus. Gorgeous. And it is $125 for that giant one. Just. Eight inch pot for 35. Ooh, this is a brown ninja. Uh, I forgot, I cannot read it. $35 in it. Species slips my mind. Pelasquia chichipe. Oh man, my graph sock. Lutembergia principis. See, 25 to $35. Little Mammalaria, Candida, that, that's Candida. Probably Bombacina here. These are all $20. There's other species of Mammalaria. Gymnocolisium, probably uh, Cardensianum, those are $20. Got some Astrophytum, Ornatum, $45. Uh, Capricorn, $20. Some hybrids, 25. Maria Stigma, 30. Surprised if those can take the sun. Some giant ones for 20 to 30. Some uh, Mammalaria grammii, which are native plants to Arizona in this area. They can take a lot of sun. They can take a lot of. Uh, no water. Barrow cactus, oops. Barrow cactus, pelosos or pingoyai. 25 for the gallon, 75 for the big one. It's pelosos. Barrow cactus, viverdescens. Very beautiful. I hope this video is turning out okay. I have no idea. I can't see the screen very well. Whoa. That is massive. Can't read a price. Whoa, there's another one. I mean, how are you supposed to take that home? Got some more. These are like various species, maybe unidentified. I see $40 on a lot of the pots. This is uh, Horridus, $50. What's this? Echinopsis Formosa, whoa. That is so cool. These are $50, man. I just had this thing where I kind of avoid really large plants. It's hard to transport, hard to find space. These are $35 for the Tephrocactus clump. Now we're kind of on the other side of that uh, row we were walking. See more of these uh, like shady way plants. I get, I'm guessing, I could be wrong. Thanks for dealing with my umbrella shadow. Got a little bit more here. More columnars. Got some big saguaros back there. They're all $50 in the five gallon pots. Let's see some Trechocereus or Echinopsis, Trichecki, the other hybrids. I see a lot of these at Home Depot too. More Echinopsis. Got some Pan San Pedro. These are $50 in a five gallon. They should buy one and use it as grass dog. It just seems like such a, <laughs> such a shame. This is 
Isolatoserius Dumortieri. I've never heard of it. They are $75. Choreo cactus, never heard of Erectus. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, this must be Choya. Yep, it is. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Got some Apuntia. Kelly's Choice? Oh, I think we saw one of these at one of the other nurseries that we went to over the past couple weeks. Micro Daisies. Oh man, beautiful, but I'm not going to touch them. Pagosarius, 50 bucks. Uh, here's more of the rainbow cactus or rainbow hedgehog, big, bigger ones so than the ones we saw earlier. These are $40 and $35. Really pretty, really nice specimens. So, more prickly pear. I'm gonna kind of walk through this. I know I'm moving a little fast. Hopefully it's tolerable. I know I got quite some feedback on the video I made a year ago. Hoping this camera I'm using and the little bit of practice we did over the past couple weeks is helping. These are nice, but they don't really have much spines. They'll still have glockids, but just not as bad as some of them. Lots of Apuntia. Oh, look how, that looks so strange the way it's variegated. Tepropectus Alexandri, $35. It's not bad. Some more Choya. More Choya. This is a very interesting plant. I've seen these, I think, at uh, Arizona Cactus Sales, $45. It's labeled Ramosissima Diamond Choya. More Choya. These are so beautiful. I wish I could. It says it's big a love the eye. That's cute. And they are, oh, I can't see the price. $35. Golden barrel, white spine, golden barrel, $30. These are 35. Peloso serious, pacolitis, pacolitis. These are 40 to 50 dollars. Ooh, creeping devil, Stenocerius eruca. 40 dollars for the five gallon, 25 for the one gallon. Cool plants, huh? Hagocerius acranthus. I have one Hagocerius at home. This is Quisto cactus. For Terry, forty-five dollars for that five-gallon. <laughs> this is Neoloidia, huh? This is Chihuahuan beehive cactus. I don't know that genus. This is Holda Wintera arespina, golden rat tail. I think I have one of these. I put it in the ground, I didn't know what it was. I probably bought it at B&B um, Apache Cactus, which they don't really have many labels on their plants. Moroccan Mound. Some, uh, some crested guys. Crested Apuntia. Interesting. $25. Lots of uh, totem pole. Little 35, Sunita. I see a lot of 35s there. Got our uh, Martillo cactus, Geometrosons. Some very interesting crests. These are all crested. Oh, these are so cool. Whoa, look at that. Let's see, how much are these? The one gallon is 40, two gallon is 90. 
some of the bigger ones, three gallons, 125. This one's 150, this huge one. Whoa, look at that. Amazing. Where's my cart? Oh, it's still there. Okay. These are crested probably San Pedro. Yep, it is. $90. And then here is those fancy crested geometrizons. Nutella cactus geometrizons. These are $85. You see, they, like, they look different than the crests over there. And we saw this, um, like a version of this at Barrage. Some Sarius, 125. Oh, this one's only 40 for the gallon of that fancy crest. We got some uh, booby cactus. Fuku, ruku, I don't know how to pronounce it. Tillo cactus geometrics. So it's forty-five dollars, and then we've got the um, Trichocereus virgetzi monstros, the PP cactus. Oh, here's a really big booby cactus. One hundred twenty-five dollars. Some more crests. Whoa, there's like another form of the crest. These are one hundred twenty-five dollars. I think this is closer to what we saw at Barrage. So Barrage's price is actually not bad. I think theirs was like 110 or 115, I forget. These are 125, not bad. I like that the prices are not too off. Here's another form of a crest, $100. This is a crested Echinopsis. I saw some of these at Home Depot this summer, something similar to this, $40. Um, I think Home Depot's maybe weren't this big though. Some more serious stuff I'm not familiar with. This is Stetsonia chlorine or toothpick cactus. So I'm kind of getting a little bit uh, antsy towards the end. I need to drink some water too. These are some Oreo serious uh, trolley but ooh, like a hundred bucks, but they're really big. Organ pipe cactus. I see some Mexican fence post over there. And some $45 numbers. All right, we are in our home stretch. I'm getting a little bit overheated, so I'm ready to call it a day. Uh, I see $25 on a lot of these one gallons. So I gotta go take some pictures to make my thumbnail for YouTube. Then I'm gonna go and maybe make one last round to make sure there's nothing I missed that I really wanted. And then we should be taking off soon. Yeah, lots of $25 on these plants. So some really nice candida there. I'm growing a whole bunch of candida from seed and I, I'm just so attracted to their form. Wow, what is huh. this? Cylindro puntia fulgita. That is incredible. $175. Got some. Boojum. These are big. $75 for a five gallon. The one that I bought last year in the one gallon is still alive. Oh no, I bought it this year in the springtime. Still alive. Mine is starting to wake up, which is nice. These kind of look like they're still dormant. Let's get some more Opuntia. Okay, let's look at these gallon plants. I think these are probably all $25 or somewhere around there. So we'll just like take a look. Probably Covellia here or Emery. Some Amelia, some fellow cactus by color. I see still see $25, so that's nice and consistent. I 
I love mammalaria. So I love that fuzz that grows between the, what do they call aerials maybe? Or those bumps or tubercles or the mans. These saguaro are $30 in the gallon pot. Oh, sorry, my shadow. This is, uh. All right, once winter comes along, it'll be easier to film without me having to hold an umbrella. Hopefully you can still see something. these from seed. Oh, huh. that's kind of cool. It's like they've got some agave at the entrance, which we've seen, a, uh, I think, a whole bunch of these as we were walking through. Then they have a bunch of these guys. These are saguaro, and they are like true landscape side. These are 225. See how they're kind of packaged up so that you can pick them up? Oh my gosh, is that like a trosheki? Oh my goodness. Much of these. Let's see how much these are. These are 55. I don't know what it is though. Oh, Cleistocactus strausia. It's the, what is it called? Uh, silver, silver torch. But they're like landscape size. These are 50. See, there's like a bunch of these mammalaria. I've never bought one of these before. Like these uprooted bare root ones. Really big, mature. Uh, landscape size mammalaria. See these are, I see a, I see $25. I see a lot of $25. That's a great price for something that big. Got some aloe acoliata. So I see a $80. These are fancy. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Tree aloe, decatoma, 450. Okay, cactus friends, we have walked through all the cactus and succulents at the 2023 fall plant sale at the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, Arizona. I hope you enjoyed that shopping trip. I'm gonna go and walk through one last time, make sure that I picked up everything that I wanted, go take some pictures, and then I'm gonna head home. I also need to wipe my face and drink some water. Thank you all so much for joining me here. I hope you enjoyed that. We will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.